What's up, Rangers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve, and today we got an unboxing video, uh, which is crazy because, God, it's been so long since I've got an Ami Ami package in. God, like months? Usually I get like one of these things like every, well, like at least once a month, <laughs> if not more. Um, but God, all right. So I ordered this package like mid-April, and my game plan was to have this for my birthday, because there was something in here in particular I've been wanting for a while. And usually with my birthday, I usually tend to order something that I've been keep having my eyes on. But I just haven't like pulled the trigger on. And kind of looked down on a certain figure in here. So I decided to hop on it. And yeah, so I was hoping I'd be here by the 29th. But with the whole COVID situation, it just showed up like yesterday. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess. Like at least it showed up. So far, like all my packages showed up. I'm missing one. Which is another bootleg video. Um, so hopefully that gets here. Also still don't have a knife. So still using my tiny little screwdriver. Because I'm too lazy to go out of the other room and grab it. But anyways. I uh, cut the top already. I haven't really messed around with anything inside the package. Because I wanted to film it. But I'll get the fancy little Ami Ami card. On the back here. It's thank you for shopping with us. Got some strawberries. I miss these things. Uh, what's inside the package. Uh, this is the one I've been wanting to get for a long time, which is the Battle Hopper. Uh, this is from Kamen Rider Black. Uh, now, if you guys didn't know, the Kamen Rider Black RX TV show uh, made its way to state size Mask Rider and played along with uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So I got some fond memories of that and even watching the Japanese show. Um, and I got most everything for that. Uh, but I kind of wanted to get the stuff for the original iteration of Black and... Uh, to have pretty much everybody, but I don't have the Battle Hopper. And it the, was the most expensive bike to get a hold of. It's been out for a while. And they got one pre-owned in for... I want to say I paid 80 bucks for this, which didn't seem too bad of a deal. Uh, anytime I've seen it cheaper, it's always like somebody's bought it before I've been able to get my hands on it. So, we'll be unboxing that. And then I just got some random Evangelion statues for giggles. Uh, now... <laughs> All right, so when I bought this, I thought it was bigger. I thought these were like standard Sega size, but they're actually uh, more like candy toy size, which I guess is, is fine. Kind of makes sense why it was less than 10 bucks now, <laughs> but uh, still pretty cool. We have, uh, doesn't say her name on here from what I can gather, but I'm pretty sure it's Maya. It's like Maya Buki, uh, one of the random side characters. But, uh, Saw her, thought it was cool because it's just like you don't really see any figures over that often. Uh, I know there's like a Sega statue of her. Um, it's like a dinner, like a dinner figure kind of like. Uh, got Amy Sato in a racing outfit. I grabbed this because it was super cheap and kind of went along with this one as well. For the back here, grabbed a couple of summer esque figures of Ray here. And well, that ain't good. <laughs> Thought the package was B. <laughs> but, eh, whatever. Anyways. Oh, well, it's got some cat girl. Why does it got a cat girl on the package? Like, that makes sense. Because that, that's what it is. But where's that figure? <laughs> Just some, some random stuff on the back here. And then finally, we got an Asuka to kind of go along with the Ray. Hopefully they uh, sort of scale. But that's like her and her, uh, the sundress, or summer dress, my bad. Uh, again, Sega statue. But we kind of wanted to get some more like random Evangelion statues. And uh, with the beach screens for these being kind of expensive, I thought this would be kind of like a nice alternative. And to be honest, it doesn't look like it's too bad. Like the race seems like she's probably a little smaller. I guess we'll start with just, we'll get the Sega statues open. Cause for the most part, I'm gonna be pitching all these boxes anyways. So, and I'm most excited about the the bike anyways. Like I even brought down a Kamen Rider, the Kamen Rider black figure just to put next to it. But we got the display, display base. 
which is this little hexagonal pad, which you see on quite a bit of the Sega Evangelion figures. Um, the Godzilla crossover ones had it. Also got a lot of tape. It's actually a pretty nice looking statue to be fair. Head sculpt's pretty nice. And let's look. Guess I hear maybe it'll focus a little better. There we go. Uh, a couple little imperfections in the hair, it seems. Might try to magic eraser that out a little bit. But face looks really nice. Body proportions look good. Uh, not really seeing any like noticeably bad seam lines or anything. Ugh. <laughs> Looks like there's some like black up in there though. She needs to be cleaned. She needs to be cleaned well. <laughs> With the paint's kind of like striping up on her leg. Uh, hat looks nice though, so that's a bonus. It's also really flexible. It's got a little watch on. Uh, the paint on the watch isn't quite that really clean though. But these are like meant to be like fairly inexpensive statues, so I'm not gonna bash on it too much. Because I'm pretty sure like each of these. Ew, just kind of got a lean to her too. Interesting, interesting. Because <laughs> she's flush on the thing, right? Oh, well, I guess she's not quite flush. Might have to work her a little bit of heat. Uh, so for the most part, body's good. Some of, there, there is some noticeable problems here, and she definitely needs a little bit of heat. But. Not too bad. Next for the Ray, which is a different figure, which is a different line. Uh, this one's the previous one we looked at. It's definitely newer, if I'm not mistaken. God, I wish I kind of had a date on it though, but I'm not seeing anything standing out looking at the back of the box. But I do want to say it's it was a newer one. This one definitely appears to be a lot older. I kind of want to keep hanging on this one just because it has a cat girl in the box, but because of the condition of the box, I don't think it's going to be uh, that big of a concern for me, you know. But get her out of there. I say she's already on the stand. I actually probably should have kept the Asuka up here just to see. Oh, yeah, Asuka's actually huge compared to her. All right. <laughs> well, that's a little sad. I kind of want like an Oscar in like that kind of dress in particular because there's like a white version too. But this actually looks really nice. Got the little flower on the arm here. She's got a little bag hanging off the side here with some flowers on there as well. Face sculpts not too bad. A little wide. <laughs> it's got like a little kind of peach shape going on to her head. But the hair looks nice, got a little seam line on the front of the face, but nothing too crazy. Dress looks nice. Eh, there's like a little ding there on the arm. A uh, little bit of imperfection in the plastic here on the dress on the side here. But yeah, I like the pose. It's kind of like she's tying the, uh, I, wanted, I just thought it was like a skirt, but I guess it's more like a towel. Uh, just got to wrap it around her. Hooks into the stand. Uh, looks like only one contact point though. So you can actually kind of rotate it a little bit on there if you wanted to. Uh, copyright 2007. Oh yeah, I was going to say, I guess I can look at the bottom of the bases. They might have the copyrights on it. That up, still doesn't have one of the other one. But yeah, I'm kind of liking this one a little bit better than the sundress one. If I'm going to be honest. Uh, definitely seems a lot more akin to the original TV show. Then the uh, Rebirth, which I'm not going to say that's what the second one is based off of, but it looks oddly enough like it should. Um, these ones, I think, are based off the movie in particular. So we're going to go with... It's like I got, it's like I got the desk. <laughs> kind of looks like it. All right, so you get her. She kind of looks happy. A little bit of a glossy face to it. But it's got some detailing for the hair there. Outfit doesn't look too bad. Yeah, not too bad. 
Oh, I like the skin coloring a seems a little awkward to me. But I'm curious what it... Man, I hope she has the table that she was hiding under in the movie because that would be kind of cool. Maybe she just sits on this? I guess she just kind of sits on it. Is that what that is? Uh, okay. Eh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Not sure how that's supposed to work. Kind of eh, maybe, eh, mm. <laughs> maybe she's supposed to have her leg up, I guess. Can we do it the other way? <laughs> oh. Sega statue. Ugh. Love them and hate them. <laughs> uh, this one might be a heat situation, too. Cause she is sitting a little high. Looks like it's just probably a little bit of heat and then try to smush her down a little bit. But still pretty cool. I almost thought it was going to be like this. <laughs> so you can have like the rays like surrounding her like you see in the movie. Alright, so... Next, we got the Misato. Uh, which has been taped multiple times, so you can definitely tell this one's been open. It's got a little stand of her own. Uh, pretty much the same thing going on with the head. Face is super de duper glossy. Got a little bit of that detailing for the hair pieces. She's got a helmet that kind of looks like an alien head. Body looks cool. Oh, it's kind of like an entry plug. I, it's like to me, it always kind of looked like it was more like a, a racing. Oh, there's a okay. It's got a lot going on with it. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what? I okay. I'm better. This is when she uh, ends up in the sea, right? That's what this is off of. I really need to probably look into things before I actually order. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, it's a Misato. So, <laughs> all right. So the peg goes back here. I guess that's kind of cool. It's more TV show accurate. Like I, from the pictures, I didn't really get a good look at it. But I'm like, it's inexpensive Misato, so I'll buy it. Uh, so that probably just rest her leg in there. Uh, okay, so that'll be like that. And then you just put these in. Seems a little unnecessary. Oh, the metal's got a little bit of tarnish on it too, I'm noticing. But here's a good shot of Misato in the plug-it-ish looking suit. Well, a little imperfection back here too on the plastic, but it's not the too crazy. Uh, that's kind of loose on here though. Or by loose, I mean not, not flush. So she's got a little bit of f flexibility to her, but still, a pr it's a pretty neat little tiny statue. All right, Coupe de Gras. Got a common rider black that's been chilling upstairs, striking a pose, and got his matching motorcycle. Uh, I will say I don't have the um, web exclusive bikes for the show. Uh, the only other vehicles I got, uh, we did a review on Super Fur, the ride loan, the car which I spent less on the car than I did on this, which is odd to say, but sad at the same time. And then the uh, Acrobatter from RX. Well, this has been pretty much like the only other one I've been really wanting to get up. Oh, ooh, it's got a little bit of heft to it. But nice thing about these is they got some die cast parts on them. So I definitely feel a little bit of coldness, especially right here. Like the kickstand works on it. Wheels bend. Nice thing is the back here is a little flexible, so you don't have to worry about those braking. Uh, this is terrifying. But front does turn side to side, so you get a little pale that. You get a little exhaust on the back here. Because essentially, this is just kind of like a dirt bike with a, a grasshopper frame put over top of it. But still pretty cool. It even has working suspensions on the back here as well. Really nice. Like the detailing on it. And I always thought like the, the Kamen Rider bikes are just sweet. Because they're just almost like decently functional bikes. Especially when you're posing them. Like you, you could you could slightly fool somebody with these with photos. Uh, there's also some extra little accessories. So you got the base for the wheel to keep it a little more stable. And then this usually hooks underneath. 
probably right there. Right there seems like a good spot. Uh, so you have a Tamashi X stand. You can use it for uh, doing jumps and stuff like that. And then this just goes on the back of the wheel here to keep it more upright. Oh, I'm so glad I got this thing now. Eh, I wish I had the, <laughs> the other hands, but you can, you can kind of get the gist. Nice thing is it scales really well with them. But that's pretty much it. Uh, let us know in the comment section below if you guys are into Kamen Rider Black. If you guys have owned the Battle Hopper. If you think the Evangelion stat statues were pretty sweet. Uh, let me know down there. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe to Kamen Ranger today. We also have an Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, and Facebook. If you guys like to keep up with date with channel. Donate. We greatly appreciate it. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.